Hi, my name is Chris Smith. I am the founder of TheOptionClub.com and I want to welcome you to our beginner uh, option series. Uh, before we jump into it, there are two things I want to do. One, the first thing I want to do is to tell you where you can get some help if you need it while you're working your way through these materials. Um, the first place to go is if you go to TheOptionClub.com, you will see a link up here called Yahoo Group Discussion Board. Uh, we uh, moderate the largest options trading uh, discussion board on the Yahoo Groups network and uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe there. Uh, it is a moderated board so there will be a delay in um, providing you with uh, access to it. Uh, we just, you know, it takes us usually 24 hours to approve a membership request uh, and there will be a slight delay in, in your posts appearing but it's a great place to get some help and to better understand options because we have some very very knowledgeable people there uh, who are usually quite eager to lend a hand to those who need it. Uh, the other place you can get help is over here at the trading room. Uh, the trading room is a private membership site. Uh, that one does cost some money to join uh, but it's very reasonable I think and uh, it, that is the place where I focus most of my attention in terms of trying to help people uh, better their understanding about options. And uh, you'll also get uh, quite a bit of insight into the techniques that I use in my own investing and trading. Uh, having said that, the next thing I wanted to cover with you is uh, I want to introduce a piece of software called Option View. Uh, you might already be familiar with this. It's a pretty popular piece of software. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, it's quite popular among options traders. Uh, you do not need to purchase Option View, although it, you know, it, it certainly uh, is worth it under, you know, for, for many traders. Um, the reason I'm introducing it is because I'm going to use this piece of software during the course of uh, this educational series and I want you to be a little bit familiar with it so that it doesn't get in the way of you understanding the concepts that I'm trying to communicate. So what we're doing is we're looking at, at Spider up here. The, this is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and I think for this series we're going to rely upon the Spider for most of our examples. That way we don't get caught up in trying to you know, look at the differences between various stocks or indexes and we can just focus on one underlying product. So up here in this area, uh, this is, co this is um, they call it the actuals, but basically what we're talking about here is the underlying security, whether it's the Spider or Apple Computer or uh, futures contracts on uh, whatever product or commodity you might think of. It's, we're looking at the underlying security. So either a futures contract or a stock or an exchange traded fund, etc. Then down here we have our option chain. And you can see we have August and September. Uh, we can you know, toggle over and we can bring in additional months. Uh, but the point here is, is that these are the options that are trading for this underlying. And as we create positions such as here we're going to model we're going to propose a, a trade where we're buying 100 shares of spider uh, the software will start calculating uh, various uh, values for us including how much the cost of the transaction is what our margin requirement margin requirement might be uh, it's also giving us information about the implied volatility if you're not sure what implied volatility is, that is something that we'll touch upon later in the course. Uh, we have uh, some Greek values here. We have the open interest, which is simply the number of contracts that are trading. Again, we're going to get into that in a lot more detail uh, as the course unfolds. And, um, uh, you know, and those are kind of the highlights of this screen. So that once we have our trade put in, we can hit click the Analyze button and then it generates what we call a risk graph. And the risk graph uh, shows us what our risk and what our potential rewards are in any given trade, whether we construct it with underlying shares of, of, of the stock or the ETF, or whether we use call options or put options or a combination of one or more of, of those uh, vehicles. So 
we have two axes. We have a, vert a vertical axis up and down and a horizontal axis across. And uh, the first line I want to bring your attention to is this dark black line, which is the zero line. And what that means is, is that anything uh, above the zero line is going to represent a profit. Anything below the zero line is going to represent a loss. The horizontal axis is the price of the underlying. As we move further to the right, the spider is picking up value. It's, it's increasing in value. The price is going higher. And as we go to the left, the price is dropping. This 45 degree line represents the risk and reward profile of owning 100 shares of the spider common stock. So as the spider starts moving higher, we see that this vertical or this uh, you know uh, diagonal line, this 45 degree line, is increasing in value. So if we get up to 153.50, we see that we've made about $1,400 in profit. If we get up to 161.50, we can see we've made a little bit less than $2,800 in profit, and so on. Uh, if we start, you know, if Spider starts losing value, we can see that at 121.50, we will have lost about 20% of our investment, or $1,400. Okay, so we can visualize what our risk or our reward will be. Now as we substitute options or add options to this particular trade, this graph is going to change. And it's going to change so as to reflect the risks and the potential rewards of any given options position, no matter whether it's one single option or a combination of several options, or a combination of options and the underlying security. The software will perform its calculations, it will graph the risk and reward, and it will allow us to evaluate the proposed trade and then monitor it as the trade matures and unfolds. So hopefully that uh, gives you a, an understanding of what the risk graph does. We're going to rely upon the risk graph as we cover uh, material going forward. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to jump on either the free discussion board or onto the, uh, the trading room. We'd love to have you join us there as a member. Okay, so I hope this is uh, something that provides you with a lot of insight and starts you on your road to uh, profitable and successful options trading. Thanks.